Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we'll talk about best practice and the clean code for validations. As we can see here, I have this method post controller to store a post and I use this form request store post request. And to create a post, we need title, content and the category ID, which will be selected from categories table here. And for example, if I try to create it, using this endpoint i will send a request and as we can see title error is readable and it's a good for user experience title field is required content field is required but if we see category id field still category id how can for example change it or make it cleaner and more readable for final user we can make it easily using attributes method here so we can say function attributes right this one and takes no parameter and it returns an array so it will be replace the keys here to any values that we want let's back and check it will be the same and if we say for example instead of category id as this one here this one i want to make it category only in case of errors so i will say instead of category id change it to category like this if we back and check again now it will be changed to category the category field is required as we can see more readable for end user the second tip here we say category id must be selected from id field in categories so i will say here for example we can see here category to make sure that it's exists or not category here and we may say find or fail with request category id if we back and check again let's fill our data id will be one for example refresh a success here let's say return refresh success if we provide none exists id for example 100 it's filled how can we make it cleaner we can say here let's remove it we can say inside request it must be exists in categories table by id column back and check again as we can see the selected category is invalid and our controller more cleaner now if you want also to use any extra queries for exists rule we can use rule also here rule from validation and we can say exists in category table second parameter must be inside id or any field or any column you want and also we can provide where query here for example maybe status must be active or one if we back and check all are false so even if i provide a category id and because the status is not valid it will throw an error back and check i will provide id number one it exists but if i change its status to one or be active send the request created successfully provide id number two will not be valid because its status is zero and this query works so this is quickly some best practice about validation and Laravel. If you find this full support, more by clicking on like, share and subscribe. See you in the next videos.